Greetings Ventures, this is Lauren, your Gold Advisor, and this is a bit of a different video because usually Damachi, Tomozaki light novels, but this, this is a very special occasion. 2020 is, is an insane year, and I could not believe it when I saw it in my Twitter feed last night, but Haruhi Suzumiya, a light novel series, which has not had an installment since 2011 in Japan, and then that released in 2013, in English, is getting a new novel, Volume 12, The Intuition of Haruhi Suzumiya. I think the author, Nagaru Tanigawa, just finally went like, you know, that series I wrote about nine years ago, I should write some more. I need some money right now. I'm still amazed. And the best part is this. Not only is it getting, this series is getting a new novel release in 2020, November 25th. It's coming out in Japan on that day, and in English, simultaneously, at the same time. I I don't even think this has happened before, like, a light novel release getting an English and Japanese release at the same time. So for the English release by Yen Press, it's only going to be digital for November 25th, but there is a print edition announced for a later time. But I'm just, I'm just super impressed. And not only that, Yen Press is also going to be reprinting uh, previous Haruhi Suzumiya novels, and that's a really good thing for collectors because uh, previously uh, it's been really hard to get a hold of the series physically, especially the hardcover editions. Now in their tweet, they posted that they'll be reprinting the series and they use the hardcover cover art illustrations, though it is possible that they could just be a paperback reprint with those cover illustrations. But because the way it released originally was, as you can see right here, this is the uh, the tenth installment. Technically, ten and eleven, but the English version was a double volume for the surprise of how to me at the last volume released. But these are the hardcover editions uh, with the cover art illustration by uh, Noizu Ito, who is the uh, illustrator for the light novels. And then, in addition to the hardcover editions, that were like the first prints for the Haruhi series back then. Years ago, it makes me feel super old. These are the paperback editions, uh, which are more simplistic in design. So we don't know if, uh, according to that tweet, we'll probably find out very soon uh, with Yen Press's Twitter feed. We don't know if we're gonna get like the cover art uh, like it is with the hardcover books and having the cover art on a paperback format. We don't know how that's gonna go. Hopefully uh, we get hardcover editions because I was only able to get two hardcover editions and I would really like to have like a full collection of hardcover with the cover art. We'll just put these back real quick. But this being a simultaneous release for Japan and in English sets a very interesting precedent. Like is Yen Press going to continue doing this? It's like it's a very interesting topic to discuss uh, because uh, with Damachi, uh, the series that my channel is based on, uh, we've had to wait almost a whole year. Uh, between volume 14's release and then volume 15 coming up in November. So if this is like a new strategy for Yen Press, like getting releases out faster in English uh, just by going digitally first, I'm all for it. Uh, I'm a sucker. I, I will gladly buy things twice, especially if like the digital releases first and then the physical comes out later. I'll gladly buy them twice because that's how much of a fan I am of some of their series. So if that's how they want to go down, I'm, I'm all for it if we get more speedy releases. But Haruhi being to one to start this, a simultaneous release, it's crazy. Like, out of all light novel series to do a simultaneous release for, it's Haruhi coming back from the dead almost nine years later from its latest release in Japan in 2011. It's, it's crazy to think about. Now some of you who follow my channel and just click this video because you like me, you might be wondering, well, what what is Haruhi? What is its significance? Why is it blowing up on Twitter? Well, you guys, Haruhi Suzumiya is a light novel series originally, and I believe it started in 2003, and it got an anime in 2006, and it's very near and dear to my heart because Haruhi is really one of the first anime I have ever watched, and it's pretty much one of the things that got me into anime like I don't count Digimon and Pokemon because let's let's be real at the time you didn't know that Pokemon and Digimon were like from Japan you didn't know they were anime you just thought they were cartoons 
but Haruhi was one of my first anime. It, it like got me in to anime culture and it's also my first light novel series and as you can see a lot of me consumes light novels so I have Haruhi to thank for that so it's a very special anime in my heart. Like, to me, like, Haruhi back then in 2006, I watched it when I was a freshman in 2008 in high school. Uh, that makes me feel really old because 2008 was 12 years ago. Like, to me, back then, Haruhi was like one of those starter anime like SAO is, like Attack on Titan was, like My Hero Academia is, and now recently Demon Slayer is today. Like, to me, that's how big Haruhi was back then 12 years ago. And to see it come back in this way is crazy. And obviously Haruhi was super big in Japan back then. Uh, you'll see tons of videos are probably coming out right now of everyone doing the Haruhara Yukai dance, which is the first ED for the first anime season of Haruhi. That was happening everywhere. Everyone was trying to emulate the dance. Like I, I kind of remember someone moves. Not really. Like Nazu Nazu. Oh God, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Now, if I were to try to break down Haruhi very simply, it's about this high school student boy I know, high school anime called Kion, but Kion, the main character, is like one of the best parts of this light novel series, best part of the anime, because his narration is, is fantastic. Like, he's cynical at times, he's the straight man, like, he's just such a lovable character, and the narration of the anime, like, makes up for half of the enjoyment. And then of course you have the other characters. Haruhi of course being super eccentric, always getting Kion into trouble. And then you have Itsuki the Esper. Like there's supernatural elements happening in this anime. Uh, Mikiru Asahina, a time traveler. And then Yuki Nagato, uh, an alien, uh, some super humanoid interface. Like some really weird stuff's happening in this anime and it's super, super enjoyable. And then guys, the disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya, that novel, that movie. This movie continues to be my favorite anime movie, just period. And I know like films like Your Name and A Silent Voice I enjoy very much and are also in my top echelon of anime movies. And it's not exactly fair to compare those movies to Disappearance because obviously Disappearance has a whole two seasons of Haruhi a build up to go on, but that's just how it is. Disappearance is such a amazing movie to watch for me. Because it's just like the culmination of everything Haruhi and, and the resolution that happens in it is just it's just so beautiful. If you guys have not experienced Haruhi before, at least try, the, I believe it's the first six episodes of the first season is pretty much the first novel. And you'll pretty, pretty much see how the anime is supposed to go, how the series is supposed to go just off those first six episodes. But the payoff and disappearance is just astronomical. Now with this news of a new light novel happening, that might stir some ideas like, guys, is is a season three actually going to happen for this show, this series, this franchise? Because normally anime is produced to advertise the source material, so it kind of makes sense why season three never happened because the Haruhi novels just kind of stopped and went on hiatus. We There was like no signs of Haruhi ever getting a new installment since 2011 and then all of a sudden, boom, here we are in 2020. Volume 12 is coming out in November, like what? But that raises the question, is a season three going to happen? Like, it's possible because now there's source material to promote, it's coming out in November, but we really need to see more volumes uh, come out. And uh, I don't know if the author is gonna like, you know what, I'm gonna start writing more Haruhi and this is not just a one-time thing, we'll just see how that goes. But the studio, of course, with Haruhi, known for Haruhi is Kyoto Animation and they suffered that arson attack last year. It was very devastating. It was a very sad moment in, in just anime history, just history period, because it was crazy back then. And one of the uh, big directors that worked on Haruhi uh, unfortunately passed away during the arson attack. And his name was Yasuhiro Takimoto-san, and he did incredible work, especially on the Disappearance movie. And it'll be a really tough act to follow. But other than that, like the studio is still recovering from an arson attack on one of their studio buildings and currently they're trying to just get out the Violet Evergarden movie coming out in Japan uh, next month, September, very very soon. Tomorrow is next month and I believe they're still working on Free, the uh, the swimming anime. They recently announced Dragon Maid Season 2 
And we also know they're supposed to be working on another San Euphonium project focusing on the main character Kumiko's third year. So they have a lot of projects going on. I don't see where they could possibly fit in a Harui season three if that's even on the table. So like I said, like there needs to be more volumes coming out besides this this 12th volume out of nowhere uh, because they Kyoto Animation has tons of projects that are still in the pipeline. Who knows when they would have time to do a season three if a season three is even being discussed right now. But for right now, guys, I'm just super stoked this is even happening. Like I woke up today thinking that maybe I just dreamed all that up. Like I made I made Haruhi Volume 12 up in my mind as I was sleeping. But I woke up today, Yen Press announced the reprints, a simultaneous release. It's it's awesome. Like we got some good news in 2020 finally, and it's Haruhi of all things. I'm just super excited. If you guys haven't seen Haruhi before, check out the anime, read the novels. This is a super exciting time if you're a Haruhi fan. I'm so, so happy. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for checking this video out. If you want to see more videos on light novels and Damachi especially, go ahead, like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, and join my Discord. This is Lorne, your Guild Advisor, and Ponytails turn me on.